everyone welcome to my tarot corner so this is a reading that i thought i would do then i changed my mind and then today i saw some uh, interesting a uh, bit of information and decided to use to do it anyway and this is around a uh, jennifer aniston buying a new how a home in montecito and being a, a close neighbor of the duchess and naturally the pr uh, team of the duchess started uh, spreading uh, rumors that Jennifer and Rachel are such good friends and we all know that uh, Rachel uh, was uh, Jennifer Aniston's fan during uh, the time that she was uh, Rachel on Suits, no sorry, Rachel on uh, Friends and Megan was Rachel on Suits and uh, she started asking people to call her Rachel which is her given name uh, because she uh, was a fan of Jennifer Aniston, she always wanted to be uh, Jennifer Aniston's friend, but there are, were rumors uh, at a time that Jennifer Aniston uh, was not pleased by the, the way that Megan uh, tried to get close to Brad Pitt, and there were rumors about Megan being in contact with Angelina Jolie. I don't think that any of those rumors are true, but then today I saw a new uh, tidbit of information and that is something that the uh, Royal Grift put on her community page uh, and that's an article from page six that says that actually Harry and Meghan are trying to get accepted to this very close community uh, about 10 miles from Montecito, uh, a place that is um, it's a close community. You need to get accepted to that uh, to be to be part of them that community. And they're looking and to buy a house there or rent. I don't know because uh, their place now is not satisfactory. Which is really, I mean, what is not satisfactory in a, a sixteen bathroom a, a mansion? Who is um, maybe it's way too expensive for them and that is why i don't know but i'm not sure that going to this uh, uh, close community place uh, which i don't remember the name but i will put the, the link to the uh, to the article in the description box so uh, i don't think that that would be a cheaper ver uh, uh, option so this is the everyday tarot and while I pick up the uh, cards, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourself. So actually in this reading, what I'm going to do is ask two questions. First is, is Jennifer Aniston planning to be in any contact with the Sussexes? Because the fact that a person is moving to Montecito and then right away is being linked to the Sussexes is really annoying, I think, for that person. And so that is the first question because uh, I think that the answer will be no, but let's see. And the second question is, uh, uh, are the Sussexes really planning to move from Montecito? Is that a true story or is it another bogus one? Uh, and I understand that now Megan decided to be her own PR person. So uh, we are uh, going to see, uh, I think, a lot Lot of PR mistakes uh, from the Sussexes. Okay, so for the first question about Jennifer Aniston, this will be the first card, and this will be the second one, and for the third one, let's take one from here. Okay, and the answer is the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is a yes card. And this means that uh, at least the Sussexes have tried to contact uh, uh, Jennifer Aniston. The 
Eight of Wands is a card of being in the right place at the right time and taking action and doing it very quickly. So this card is saying that once Jennifer Aniston uh, decided to uh, buy a house in Montecito, uh, the people of the Sussexes or the Sussexes themselves hurried to uh, be in contact with her to try and uh, invite her to try and make some kind of connection. This is something that happened. This is, uh, now whether or not she accepted, that's another question, but she was in contact with the Sussexes, whether on her side or their side, probably their side. But this is about, uh, I think that the Duchess uh, felt that she's in the right place at the right time right now to uh, form a connection or a friendship with, even with Jennifer Aniston. And she hurried to take action and to start doing things. And as you can see here, that which is uh, waving her wands and trying to, uh, and creating that hurricane. So this is like the PR hurricane that started uh, rolling once uh, Megan heard that uh, um, Jennifer Aniston is coming to live at uh, the same uh, uh, neighborhood. Okay, on this side, because I'm looking at this side first because the switch, the witch here is uh, looking towards this side. And here we have the seven of wands in reverse. So the seven of wands is a card that speaks about uh, being able to, uh, be, to be focused to take away all of the things that are uh, unnecessary from your life, to be and to all of all of the things that are redundant, and to take them out, and to be very focused on the things that are important. But it is in the reverse. So when it is in the reverse, we need to look at the negative aspects of this card. And these at, this this shows inattention to particulars. It shows lack of focus. It shows confusion. It shows difficulty in taking decisions. So despite the fact that she, uh, Megan worked very quickly, she didn't do it right. Uh, this shows us confusion. It shows lack of control. It shows lack of focus. So she didn't focus enough. She wasn't doing the right thing. This is a tendency to procrastinate. So despite starting fast, she couldn't take it all the way. Taking it and, and to take it all the way means to be more than just, you know, uh, trying to contact someone, to be very friendly, to be very, and this is a courtship. This is about being very, uh, um, uh, very much active in courting a person that is way above you in the food chain. So here, uh, Megan needed to be very uh, persuasive and in for, for that, she needed to be very focused. She needed to be uh, very active, but she's a procrastinator and she's looking for excuses. And because of that, she couldn't focus. And on the other hand side, we have the six of wands. Wow. And I took them from other places in the, in the, uh, in the spread. So it's amazing that we got three wands here and wands are fire and the six of wands is the victory card but once again it is in the reverse and as you can see here this person is uh, looking forward so it's not uh, is not looking at uh, at that at this switch but here they are both turning their backs at uh, one to another so here we see a success or the, the wish for success or the wish for victory that is going down the drain. And there is a lot of fire here. There's a lot of wishing. The fire, the, the one's uh, energy is about getting your wishes come true in the material world. This is also about creative creativity. And the fact that she started something, but uh, she cannot take that uh, all the way. And we can see that she's looking at the seven of wands. So she is uh, uh, 
of uh, she's conscious of the fact that she's unable to focus and then the victory is in reverse so there is no victory here this is about advancing quickly without a solid basis so there is no solid basis for that relationship there is no solid basis for a friendship between jennifer aniston and uh, megan marco and uh, this is a person that even er is er is too arrogant and um, in a way I think that Jennifer Aniston thought to herself who is that person and why is she thinking that I can be her friend because what is because probably she was too arrogant in even trying to in the way that she tried to contact her and uh, the underlying message is the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords is the exact opposite of the Queen of Wands the Queen of Wands who is the egotistical Queen the one who thinks only on herself about herself the Queen of Swords is the other way one she's the one who has social responsibility so she's the one that will be called the humanitarian she's the one who will be called uh, someone who is activist a feminist all the things that Megan wants to be uh, uh, described as and this is what she's striving for this is what she wants to become but she cannot because she is the Queen of Wands and this is something that cannot change okay so the Oracle card is for Jennifer Aniston what does any Jennifer Aniston need to do if she wants to get rid of Megan and her shenanigans. And the card that I'm getting here is Letters from Life. So, no, 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 I'm sorry. Learn from Life. Didn't read it correctly, so I'm going to look it up. Okay, so first of all, this is air energy, which is about thoughts and communication. And the advice here, in the, when we're thinking about action, is make an effort to learn something new today. You can try uh, something different and see what happens. Do some research or read a book, a bit of a, in a book by one of your favorite authors. Or you could talk to someone who has had experiences you haven't and ask them about them, uh, about it. So this is about learning from experiences, learning from life, learning from books. So this is about uh, trying to learn how to uh, uh, how to uh, deject. Uh, the Duchess of Sussex and maybe uh, the meaning of this card is to tell Jennifer Aniston to try and talk to all of the people that Meghan markled during her uh, life and to learn from them what to do uh, in order to deject uh, her advances. So this is what I think that this card is trying to tell Jennifer. Okay, so this is, oh, I'm sorry, this was one only one of the questions that I meant to ask. The other one was about whether or not the Sussexes are going to try and move. So I'm sorry, I forgot it. So let's do another a tarot reading about their possible move and I'm just taking the cards that I uh, already drawn and putting them in the deck okay and then just doing this a little bit shuffling putting uh, bunches of cards in different places okay uh, so are Harry and Meghan really planning to move to another closed community which is near Montecito but not in Montecito so the first card will come from here second card will come from here and the third will come from here okay so let's pick, pick those up and the answer is justice in reverse 
Okay, so once again, uh, the explanation is that justice is a message card. This is not a yes or no card. Uh, but we need to look at the... Uh, uh, the meanings of this card in order to understand what it means in regard to whether or not Harry and Meghan uh, did do try to move and according to this card I think that they did why because uh, justice is about cutting out everything that you uh, don't need in your life and uh, putting them away what is redundant just take away when it, when it is in the reverse, we see tendency to do the same errors over and over again. So I believe that they did try to uh, get accepted to that uh, community, but they were uh, refused. This is what I believe, because justice is about uh, being very straight, being very... Uh, um, be very cold-hearted, uh, weighing the pros and cons, and I believe that the people there, uh, the uh, accepting committee, let's say that way, uh, did weigh the pros and cons of getting, of being, of having them as part of their community, and decided to refuse. No, this is why it's in the reverse. It shows us that uh, um, this is about a difficulty to confront and to do what is needed. So this is the Harkos that are unable to confront their problems, so they're trying to run away from their problems. Uh, this is about feeling heavy, this is about losing a trial or losing, uh, losing whatever you wanted to get, you want, they wanted to be accepted, they lost, this is also about divorce, just that, you know, but, uh, but it's not the question, but this card does talk about divorce. Okay, on this side we get the King of Cups in reverse. And the King of Cups, that's the whiner king, that is the king uh, that usually corresponds to Harry, the one who always feels deprived. He's the one, and, and I know that Harry is not a water sign, but still, uh, it is uh, the king that uh, uh, describes him uh, best. And this is the king that is motivated by need for emotional stability and the one who feels deprived, the, the one who feels that he's not getting what he deserves. And as you can see here, this person, although her eyes are uh, covered, she is looking towards that king. And this is part of the reason why they didn't want the Sussexes there. They didn't want this whiner person. Because when it is in the negative, we see a person that is slow, a person that is lazy, stay, someone who is staying in his comfort zone and, is, and not willing to do something in order to, uh, to change his uh, situation to the best someone who, who is uh, abstaining from doing things, someone who gets offended very easily, someone who holds a grudge. Uh, this is a person who is dependent and as I saw in my previous reading, Harry is very much dependent on Meghan. This is a person that is procrastinating and has difficulty to be independent. And those people knew all of that. They saw it on Harry. So this is part of the reason why they uh, did not accept them. And on the other side, we get another upside down card. And this is the five of pentacles in reverse. So what uh, what more can I say to tell you that uh, they were not accepted? The Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. This is about not being accepted, not being able to get into that cub cabin. And when it is in the reverse, it shows us even worse uh, energies. Uh, the Five of Pentacles, that's a card of destruction and failure that is known in advance. And this is a destruction that comes because of acting out of feeling threatened. And this is the way the Sussexes always uh, act. They always feel that they are threatened. They always feel that they need to protect themselves. And this is why they end up in failure and, uh, in failure and destruction. 
Now, when it is in the uh, reverse, it shows fear of loss. It shows fear of poverty. It is a self-destruction card. This is about failure. This is about financial problems and difficulty to get out of a, of all of the uh, financial problems. Uh, this is a card of loneliness. This is a card of a uh, difficulty to forgive other people and about uh, and to forgive uh, past mistakes by other people. So this is uh, the tarot. They might have tried to, and I believe that they did try to get accepted to that community and were refused. So just to end this up, also I'll take one card for the people of that community that I'm sorry I don't remember the name of it, but I will link the article and the card that I'm getting is Meditation for Clarity. So I don't think that I really need to uh, open the book for, uh, for this. This card is telling those people, meditate, think, in order to get clarity and once you get clarity then you will know what to do and you will know how to say no to them okay so this is it for this reading i hope you liked it and if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell leave me a comment and i'll see you on the next one bye